Hey guys, welcome to Motion Tech TV, and today I'm going to teach you how to log into your account when you can't remember your password. The first thing you're going to need to do is hold down the power button on the computer and boot it down. At the login screen, you might need to hold it down for a few seconds than usual. Now that the computer's powered off, we're going to power it back on again and immediately hold down Command S. This will boot it into something called single user mode. And here we're just going to type in a few simple lines of code. So once it fully uh, boots up here, what we're going to do is we're going to type in forward slash SBIN forward slash mount space hyphen UW space slash and then hit enter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type in RM space slash var slash db slash dot apple setup done we're gonna hit enter and then all we're gonna do is type in reboot it's gonna reboot the computer and basically what that does is it, it goes into the root file of the or the root directory of the computer and removes the file that says that your computer has already been set up. So once it reboots, it's going to think that it's a brand new computer and we're going to create a new account. But don't worry, we'll still be able to recover your old one. Okay, so now we're going to use English for the main language or whatever language you prefer. United States, U.S. And we're just going to we're just going to continue without this. For now, okay. This this screen is very important. Uh, when it prompts you, make sure you click "Do not transfer any information now" and click continue. I'm going to choose not to sign in with an Apple ID and just agree to this real fast. And then you can uh, create a new account, but uh, this is only going to be temporary. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to type in "test." Uh, we won't use a password and continue. And you want to make sure that you name the account. Um, oops, I didn't enter in everything here. Test, test. You want to make, make sure you enter in the account name different than an account that's already on there. Otherwise, it will overwrite it. So just click continue after you've done that. We'll just not register this for now. Skip. I'll set up your account. and make sure you remember the password that you use to create this account. Okay, now that we are into our new account, what we're going to do is we're going to go into System Preferences. We're going to click on Users and Groups. And then we're going to click this little lock button. And uh, basically what we're going to do now is we're going to type in the password we just used to make this account, which was Test. Okay, click on the uh, account that you forgot your password to. And basically we're just going to click Reset Password right here. You can enter in a new password, or you can choose to leave it blank. I'm just going to type in test as well. Make sure to verify it. And then click change password. Okay, so now we should uh, be able to log out of this account. And then click on the account we are recovering. Type in the password you just typed in, which is test. And now we can log back in. So now that we are logged into our uh, our recovered account, if you want to go ahead and delete that old one, just click on System Preferences, and then click on Users and Groups. Click on the lock again, type in your password, and then click on the Test Account, and then you can click that little minus button, and you want to delete the home, the home folder uh, completely, and then click Delete User. And there we go. Order is restored to your computer. You are now... Uh, able to log into your account. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please click the like button down below. Leave a comment and subscribe as well for more videos. And I want to thank you for watching Motion Tech TV.